Russian President Vladimir Putin has made a significant diplomatic move by calling for talks between Israel and Palestine. This announcement reflects Russia's long-standing interest in the Middle East and its desire to play a more prominent role in the conflict resolution. In an interview, this is what Putin said. The expansion of the conflict in the Middle East may lead to serious consequences, including the energy sector. The Palestinian problem is in the heart of every Muslim and is perceived by them as a manifestation of injustice elevated to an incredible degree. Actions should be taken to reduce the number of civilian casualties. The United States neglected the mechanisms in the Arab-Israeli conflict zone and relied on the material needs of the people in Palestinian territory. When creating Israel, there was also talk about creating a sovereign Palestine, but this was never done. It is unknown whether it will be possible to calm the situation between Israel and Palestine in the near future, but this could lead to big problems. Both in the USA and in Israel, there are many supporters of the creation of an independent Palestinian state, but the forces advocating a military solution are gaining the upper hand. The bitterness in Israel and Palestine is very great, but we must strive to minimize civilian losses, leave children and women alone. The aggravation in Israel will not affect oil production, but it may affect logistics, insurance, freight. The accusations against Iran of involvement in the aggravation of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict are unsubstantiated. I don't understand why the United States is pulling aircraft carrier groups towards Israel. This is aggravating the situation. Initially, when the decision was made to create the State of Israel, a parallel decision was made to create a second state. Initially, it was about the creation of two independent and sovereign states. Israel and Palestine. Israel, as you know, was created, but Palestine, as an independent and sovereign state, was never created, Putin said. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been a long-standing and deeply rooted issue with numerous failed attempts at peace negotiations. Putin's call for talks at a time when the region is facing ongoing tensions and there's an urgent need for a peaceful resolution. Russia has maintained relations with both Israel and Palestine, giving it a unique position to mediate discussions. Putin's proposal signals a potential shift in the dynamics of Middle East diplomacy, especially since traditional mediators like the United States have faced challenges in facilitating talks in recent years. However, it remains to be seen. How the involved parties respond to this call, success in mediating, these talks would be a significant diplomatic achievement for Russia and could contribute to stability in the region. In another interview, Putin urged Israel and Palestine to keep women and children out of their conflict. In a report that has been shared by a reliable source of information, it has been reported that the ongoing confrontation allegedly left over 1,000 people dead, among them women and children. Если уж мужчины решили между собой бороться, пусть борются между собой. Детей, женщин, оставьте в покое. Это касается обеих сторон. Anyways, what do you think about this video? Subscribe and give us your thoughts on the comment section below.